Hello guys, welcome back to Gutra Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Among Us code execution cannot be processed because Unity Player .dll was not found and how to fix this up. So I'm going to talk about four possible workarounds. So let's try each one and then. So first thing what you have to do is once after you have successfully downloaded the Among Us, make sure that you're not you're not changing the icon directly to the desktop from here. As you can see, I'm going to show you how it usually people use to dust people used uh, used to do in this form like they directly copy from here and keep in the desktop which most probably giving you the dll error as you can see it is error so how to fix this up so to do this what you have to do is you just have to uh, go to the among us from here you just have to right click then you just have to send to click on send to and you have to send to the desktop right now if you open the shortcut this will be fixing the issue as you can see that game is working fine so this is the first possible workarounds which you have to do Right, then just uh, I'm going to show you the next possible workaround if that doesn't work. So what you have to do is I'll be providing a link in the description where you have to download the respective file code Unity Player. Right, you have to download the respective file, download Unity Player .dlr. So I'll be providing a link in the description where you have to download the respective file. Once after the respective file is downloaded, so as you can see that I have already downloaded. Now what you have to do is just have to extract it. Now after the extracting, what you have to do is you just have to open the respective file. Then you have to copy this. Right, you have to copy this and get back to the Among Us folder. Then you have to paste it here. As you can see that I have already done the placement, so go for replace. Now, if you open the game, most probably this will be fixing the issue. Right, as you can see that the game works all good. So this is the second possible workaround. So now I'm going to talk about the third possible workaround. So third possible workaround is you have to copy the respective Unity Player.ll. You just have to copy the same. Then you just have to go to the Windows uh, in your local disk C. You just have to go to local disk C. Then you just go for Windows folder on your computer. Then you just have to paste it here. Just have to paste it. Anywhere you just have to paste it. Then this will be fixing the issue. And once after that, just go back to the game. Now you once after you just go back to the game, you just have to click right click and go for uh, you have to go to properties. Then you just have to click on the compatibility. Then you just have to click on rent this program as administrator and just go for apply and OK. Now open the game and as you can see that it is give NS. Give NS then most probably the game is working right. The third possible workaround also successfully worked. Now I'm going to talk about the fourth one. So the fourth one is all about you just go back to the respective folder. You just ba go back. Then you have to select the Redis folder. Now there are some of the uh, drivers which is available. All uh, hardly it is six you have to install each one by one so these are the last fourth methods and once you're done with all these things just go back to the game then open the game now go for yes so i have talked about four possible workarounds in all the four they're having dlr you don't have to get panicked all you have to do is just have to follow these instructions post for four possible workarounds you can try out after trying all these four, if that doesn't work, you just have to go to the start menu and you just have to search for Windows update. The first thing what you have to do is search for Windows update. And if any kind of updates are available, just check for updates. Right? Just go for the normal update. So Windows update can fix the issues even also. So next thing what you have to do is just have to go back to once again. Now go to the control panels. Now from here, you have to go for program and features. Now you have to select turn windows features on or off. So you have to tick the both the things which I'm going to show you right now. You have to tick all these things. Right you have to keep on tick all these things. The folders names are .net framework 3.5 and also the next one is .net framework 4.8. You have to tick all these things. Once after that you just have to go for OK. Now it will be what happens is it will be searching for required files and it will get completely updated and this can fix the issue on the Among Us DLL error. So these are the four main possible workarounds and the rest two which I have given is as you can do as additional if that doesn't work for you. So these are what it even comes to how to fix right how to fix DLL error on Among Us. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notification. If you have any doubts, do ask in the comment section where we and our team will get back to you. Do share among your friendship circle if you find this video really entertained and also helpful. Keep practice social distance, be safe and stay safe. See you soon in the next video.